Should I register for VAT? VAT can be really tricky for small businesses, it's got to be handled correctly. When do you have to register for VAT? If you're turnover in any 12 month period, so that's not your financial year, not the tax year, any 12 month period goes over £85,000, you've got 30 days to register for VAT. But what even is VAT? VAT is essentially a sales tax on the end user. So a business charges another business VAT, charges another business VAT, charges another business VAT, just goes around in a big circle until someone buys something and they can't claim back the VAT, like walking into a shop and buying a Mars bar. So essentially, if you're VAT registered, you really, you act as an agent on behalf of Her Majesty to collect VAT for her. However, those nice folk at HMRC, if you're VAT registered, allow you to offset the VAT that you spend on the VAT that you charge. As an example, if over a three month period, your quarter, you collect a thousand pounds in VAT, but you spend 200 pounds less VAT on purchases, relevant purchases. What actually happens is you take the £40 you spent on that £200 plus VAT, £240, and you deduct that from the £1,000 that you charge. So you actually pay HMRC £960. Therefore, you're £40 better off than if you're not VAT registered. So there you go. If you're VAT registered, you can claim back the VAT in your purchases, whereas you can't if you're not. Something else you want to consider is credibility. If you're registered for VAT, no one knows what the turnover is. If you're not registered for VAT, someone can instantly tell that your annual turnover is less than £85,000. So if you're trying to give an impression that you're more credible or more established than what you are, you can't because people instantly know that you're smaller than what, what your impression is that you want to give. Some of the downsides of being registered for VAT is extra admin. Every three months you've got to prepare and submit and pay a VAT return. However, if you're really sensible like all of our clients are, you'll use something like Xero, which takes care of VAT for you in a couple of clicks, easy peasy. Another downside could be if you only deal with direct customers, not other businesses, i.e. basically people that aren't that registered. So if you think like a hairdresser or a cafe, where their customers can't claim out the VAT, in that instance you've got to be so careful with your prices, because if you hit that VAT threshold, you've got to register for VAT, you can't just add 20% onto your prices because your customers will bugger off. So some of you really got to take professional advice on. There are some schemes available to make the hit less of a hit, like the flat rate scheme. The flat rate scheme means that rather than a standard way of VAT, you take the VAT and you sell the money to purchase and pay the difference to HMRC, you pay a flat rate percentage which is based on your industry, of your gross sales. So for example, £100 plus VAT, £120, you pay a flat rate percentage on that value. And in some instances, you can actually save money being on the flat rate scheme as opposed to the standard rate scheme. So there you have it, that's VAT. Should you register? Basically, generally speaking, I'd say yes if you deal with businesses because you can claim back your uh, VAT on your purchases and because of the extra credibility. If you're dealing directly with customers, uh, people that can't claim back VAT, I'd probably say ease off until you hit the threshold. So that's VAT. I'm Sean, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.